Inflammation is the body's natural and protective response to injury, infection, or harmful stimuli. It is a complex biological process involving the immune system, blood vessels, and various signaling molecules. Common signs of inflammation include redness, heat, swelling, pain, and impaired function in the affected area. 5. Sign of Inflammation The five classic signs of inflammation, often referred to as the cardinal signs, are A. Redness rubber. Increased blood flow to the affected area causes dilation of blood vessels vasodilation. This results in visible redness or discoloration of the skin. B. Heat color. The increased blood flow also leads to warmth in the inflamed area. This heat is a result of the metabolic activity and increased circulation associated with the inflammatory response. 10. Swelling tumor. The accumulation of fluid edema and immune cells at the site of inflammation causes swelling. Swelling is the body's attempt to isolate and repair the damaged area. Char. Pain dollar. Inflammation can stimulate nerve endings, leading to pain. Pain serves as a protective mechanism, signaling the presence of injury or infection and discouraging further harm. Punch. Loss of function. Functionalisa. Inflammation can temporarily impair the function of the affected tissue or organ. This is often a consequence of the swelling and pain associated with the inflammatory process. These signs collectively represent the body's coordinated response to injury or infection and are integral to the healing and repair mechanisms of the immune system. Cause of inflammation. Inflammation can be triggered by various causes, and it is a complex biological response to injury, infection, or tissue damage. Here are some common causes of inflammation. Infection. Bacterial, viral, fungal, or parasitic infections can activate the immune system, leading to inflammation as the body attempts to eliminate the invading pathogens. Injury or trauma. Physical injuries, such as cuts, bruises, burns, or other forms of trauma, can induce inflammation as the body initiates the repair and healing process. Autoimmune disorders. Conditions where the immune system mistakenly targets and attacks the body's own tissues, such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or inflammatory bowel diseases, can cause chronic inflammation. Chronic diseases. Certain chronic conditions, including cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and obesity, are associated with low-grade, persistent inflammation that contributes to disease progression. Allergies. Hypersensitivity reactions to allergens, such as pollen, certain foods, or insect stings, can trigger inflammation as part of the immune response. Chemical irritants. Exposure to irritants like chemicals, pollutants, or toxins can cause inflammation. This can occur in conditions like contact dermatitis or lung inflammation due to inhaling irritants. Chronic stress. Prolonged stress can contribute to inflammation. The body's stress response, if persistent, can lead to the release of inflammatory mediators. Tissue necrosis. Death of cells or tissues due to factors like ischemia, lack of blood supply, or certain diseases can trigger an inflammatory response as the body works to clear away damaged cells and initiate repair.